so I don't know what I have to do after that interview. There are so many other celebrities I can be doing this interview with. Ah, we've done one before. Why are we doing another one? She begs for it. She begs for it. Ah, she begs if, if, for what? If this is how I, I, I'm featuring C-list act, actress. Do you think this, this show will go far? Ah, it's like you are crazy. You beg for what? This is a retaliation game. You are retaliating. That one that I did, I did not say a word. I was trying to maintain Stiz. I saw the comments of my fans and I saw that they already know that they were not expecting Stiz and composure. So I'm ready to let it loose. Yes, bring it on. Tani sick list actor. I said you should stop wearing this YouTube clothes. Stop acting as if you're a partner. You are fans in YouTube and you're calling someone C actor. Um hello guys, I'm Baby Baby, your host. Our guest today is here to use style to promote a cinema movie. A cinema movie which she could only afford to do because she has made so much money from making so much low standard movies on YouTube. Abi Mopuro? Eh, only check me, Lori. I'm flag in KB, I want to be cool in that point. Lori broke me, I'm a flag here, YouTube. Go and check my movies, starting from cameras. Check the technicals of my YouTube movies. Check the cast list. For me, I, I managed the kind of production that, you know, that coin that's a production. Talking about the cast, does it look like something they managed to do? Does it look I, I, like. I'm not talking about Queen Latifah. Because you're telling me I, I made money from YouTube from my low movies. Yes, now to, to, to shoot. I thought you could afford this um, Queen Latifah movie. At know. least I can afford it and I was able to afford it. What have you afforded in your life? In your whole life? Can you afford? What have you been able to do? Aside this YouTube shit. Okay, you, uh, there was one time four years ago you did one unlimited detached. I've been a semi detached, I've been a mini detached. Since that time, what have you achieved? Let's do, let, but let's let's money shame ourselves. Shololori Brukunye Umoroso. Let's money shame ourselves. What have you achieved? She may have achieved something, but mind you, <laughs> go and check very well. Wumitoriola, I'm not a lover of low budget movies. Even at YouTube, I try to put it at standard. I mean, good standard. So know what you know and be sure of what you know. Um, tell me something. What are the challenges that come with being a female C-list actress? I'm not a C-list actress. I think you like that line. It makes you famous. You like it. C-list actress. I am not a C-list. I am not A. I am not B. I am Mumi Toriola and others. I mean other actors. I'm a relevant actor and I'm a good actor at it. And I'm trying my best to best to beat my, my, my last record. Okay? To beat my best. And that is what I and that is who I am. Is it you that will tell me what to call you? Call me Mumi Toriola, aka Queen Latifa. That's it. What inspired you to pursue acting? Is it hunger, or you just figured out that Nigerians like watching people like you that have coin coin? Okay, the same thing that motivated your late dad. Okay, why not? God damn it, God, sanctify my lips, refurbish my soul, <laughs> and anoint my mouth. I am going deeper than you think. Oh. Please don't go too deep today. I, I we go, I we go deeper. We enter you. The same thing that motivated your dad because you know your dad used to be my boss in Odufa. He was more of the toutish kind of actor. He was a tout, let's just say, because that kind of role was what he was, you know, good at. Even though then he was very soft spoken. The same thing that motivated him is the same thing that is motivating me. At least people know my own dad. So they don't know me? Your own dad? Ah, okay, girl, no, no, my own dad is not inside entertainment. You know, people that know my dad know. Even if they don't know my dad, my name has made them know my dad. But my I mean, dad they know me and they know my dad. You don't even know you. They know me, they know my dad. Can you share a memorable moment from your acting career in the past before you became an African magic Yoruba superstar that you are now. 
What's wrong with you? Are you bitter about something? You don't think at... people out there want to know things about you before you became an African magic Yoruba superstar? I'm not an African magic Yoruba uh, superstar, okay? Okay, let's break this I'm down. I'm a Nollywood superstar. Let's break this down. Most of your movies, mm -hmm. or has any of your movie made it to cinema? This is my cinema debut. Listen to my question. I'm talking about the future. Okay. And that now, has any of your movie made it to cinema? No. Has any of your movie made it to Netflix? Incoming. Incoming? Yeah. Good. So, for now, mm. you're an African magic. You're I don't like, I'm, I'm proud of African magic, yeah? But don't put me in that box, okay? But that is where your movie is showing. You're a YouTube star, you're an African magic star. Okay, I accept. Good. For now. Good. <coughs> Yemi Aladu. Show ya wiri. But with Yemi Aladu, you are what's that for supposed to be? You are trying to form that you are now English person. English is too much. You can't call Yemi Aladu. What's Yemi Aladu? Why are you why are you giving me that accent? What's up with the intonation? What is happening? Yemi Aladu is Yemi Aladu. It's not Yemi Aladu. What's that? Yemi Aladu. Yeah. This your cinema movie that is coming. Can you in, in, instead of stressing us to go watch it in cinema, can you just explain it to us yet? So we will not bother watching it in cinema. No, you know because um somebody like you, some of your this the, the only thing you have is this place. Just use this place and you put things to you to be an opportunist. So you don't know what hard work really takes. So you are an opportunist. Because on a normal day I don't know. I don't, you don't want me to talk. I, do, I will not talk. The job you are doing before you started switching into interviews like this, does he have longevity? How long is the lifespan of the job you are doing? You understand? Because if you know about hard work, if you know about vision, you will not advise me to use all my mouth to talk about the movie that I've spent multi-million naira. I'm talking about multi multi <laughs> one day so i should summarize it oh yeah where they go because you don't aside this tripod that you have you don't have any do you even have a team that works with you you don't have a team you don't have a team so you don't understand hard work you don't know what consistency is that's it you just carry two chair put your big belly like this and you'll be talking to people and pull put it on youtube and people that don't know what they want, they will go and watch it. They will say, it's you. They will be laughing and be yelling you. No, she. <clears throat> the job you, you are doing, does he have lifespan? Who are you? What are you? Talk now. Mumitoriola, African magic actor. Mm. For now, I accept. Incoming cinema face. Mm. Incoming box office queen. I accept. Who are you? Introduce yourself now. I will remain. Be you. Be you. I'm the be you that gives people like you a platform. <laughs> gives people. That, that's, that's not CV. What platform? Okay. Like that, you I'm are not a movie. Uh, the, the, the way you were begging me until me, now that you have now, let me come and use my mouth to tell people that you are no longer a, a seed list actor. You have now done you a cinema. Was that not what you were saying? Do you want me to expose your text messages? Was that not what you were telling me? Please let's move on, Abe. How do you handle criticism from truthful people like me that ain't scared to tell you to do better? Okay, so for me, I am a teachable person. My fans, they know me about that. They know me. If I do a movie and they feel it's not, you know, they're expecting more, and they put it on, I look back. I don't get angry because they are the reason I, I keep moving. So I embrace criticism. Sometimes it may be very harsh, you know, the way people put it down. But for me, and, you know, being able to deal with, you know, people like you, you should know that I have a level of thick skin, even though some of my roles in movie show otherwise. What do you mean by people like me? People like you that are one way, you know, you're not deep, you're shallow-minded. You just want to talk to people and bring them down. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a bad comment about you or your profession that got you teary? If yes, who not told you sorry or whose shoulder did you cry on? You know, since you have a man in your life. 
I think you are so I don't know. Is there anybody asking you to talk to me? Because the the other time too, you are just so saying there's no man in your life, you are lonely, you are this, you are that. Oh, you want to know, right? If you want to know, just ask me straight. Go straight. Stop cutting corners. Do you have a man in your life? I have a man in my life. No, she. Even if I don't have. So you don't have? I have. And if I don't have, it's still my life. I don't want. What's your problem? Lonely. You are so lonely. You have no body. Convict. Music, acorn. Go. See, whether I have a man or not in my life, the most important thing is I am happy and I'm living a fulfilled life, okay? So kiss the wall. Do you have a woman in your life? You don't look like one. See your beards. You can't even say it's from year to year it's disconnecting. From year to year, you look unkept. I mean, your face. Look like you, are, you don't sleep well everywhere. Too much of noodles, everything, noodles and egg. You look malnourished, forget all these fats. The fats are not looking healthy, so you don't have a woman in your life. Yet, it's Speaking of crying, in one video on your page, gospel singer Ashayori was singing for you and you were crying. You know the, I was emotional. Why were you so emotional like someone promised you five scenes in the cinema movie? Uh, no, you know, I've gotten past all of that, so um, I was so emotional thinking and looking of, looking back to see how far I've gone and where I'm going. So I, I'm an emotional person, forget that some people like you want to bring the animal part of us, but hey, we choose not to move, I'm very emotional and I don't hide that and I love to be vulnerable, okay? Let's talk about your cinema movie, Queen Latifah. Okay. I know I've said this before, but even if you cannot summarize it here, can you drop it on YouTube first? Before? <laughs> you are Otaji. Like I said, you have never done anything good. If you have had a taste of anything good in your life, you wouldn't have just said it. You just dropped it. And look at your face. Imagine me having the likes of Nancy Simi, Kunle Remy, Latifa De Dimeji. Femi Adebayo, Enyoluwa, Brashagi, Kiki, Officer Woz, Evina Ibu, Mubemi, Madam Shaje, Mumitoriola, Fethi Abalogu, in a movie for La, Pretty for La, and more, and more, than having to get that job directed by one of the, the, the highest grossing director, Captain Dexy, and co produced, I mean, produced by Judith Audu. Managed by May Baker. Distributed by Cinemax. Are you joking? Those are not the kind of job you change your minds on. You know, no. You're so intentional from the beginning. When is it coming out? September 27. Alright, I'll try not to watch it. Still about your cinema movie, Kunatifa. Yeah. You asked um, Funke Akidele to give you advice and tips on how you can also cash out like she did. Mm -hmm. Please, let's say you cash out 500 million or more from the movie when it's out. You know, it will still change the fact that you are single. Why is your life tied to marriage? Like, your life is tied to marriage. Is there a problem? Are you, do you, are you having low self-esteem? Everything mental? Is it okay? You are sounding like a lonely person. Is a lonely person that sounds like this. Because if you are not lonely, you won't be talking about marriage, marriage, marriage. Every little thing, marriage, marriage. I am not lonely. Oh, okay, you feel I'm lonely because I'm not married. Oh, they play. <laughs> I am not lonely. I'm a lover girl, I love love, and oh baby, <laughs> you want to know that part, I know. Yeah. You are too young to, to experience that part of me, okay? What do you look for in a script before accepting it? That's Is it that you just accept any script as long as they can afford to play it on African Magic? <laughs> no. I'm a story-driven actor. 
I love good stories and I love how they are being told. Really, there are no bad stories as such, but it is the way they are being told. So when I say everything is put in place to tell a good story, uh, I want to be on the on that job. So you putting your mouth and still repeating Africa magic, Africa magic, still boils down to some self-esteem kind of thing that is affecting you. I am not ashamed to be a YouTube star. I'm not ashamed to what be. What do you mean, man? Put my mouth. I can say that I want to my show. Do you want to slap me? No, I cannot slap. Of course, Why I won't do violence. Of course, I won't do violence. But my mouth too will slap you. For what? We will talk and talk, ni. We will not end the show. I'm a rojo parawani. I'm a batarawa. Jesse baby. Because you cannot be saying talk, 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 talk. Everybody that comes here, you have something to say to them. You know, if you do surgery to reduce your front and your backside. You know, your views on YouTube will reduce to. Okay, I understand. Don't go too far. You need to ask your dad. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to go far. But um, you can ask his friends while I, when I was in Odufa. I wasn't this good, looking good. But, you know, people saw the potential. So the kind of fan base I keep, they are not sexually attracted. It's not about the look, okay? It's about the... That's the only reason why I, I watch your own movie. Uh, you know, that's a lie. It still boils down to low self-esteem. There is more to it. I think you are just um, angry at yourself. You tried acting, you didn't go, you didn't get it. You started skits, you know, and now this. So I understand your struggle. You've been through a lot. Love and light. Love and light. If you don't shout or abuse people in your movies, will you have tuberculosis? Go and check it, I say. That's a movie I did not shout. Watch it, I say, on YouTube. It, I say, I did not shout. And nothing happened. A lot of my uh, fan base even loved it more for me. So, I don't know where you see shouting all the time. I won't have tuberculosis. I'll still do well. So, I'm not an actor you can box in a place, no. Being an actor, you should be dynamic. So, I understand you. This is the only thing you can do. Stay on you, that's this chair. And bring your protruding tummy out and be talking down on people. And we just put it on YouTube. You wake up the next morning, 800,000 views. You catch some dollar, you go to next episode. Is that not it? Oh. I'm not saying you should stop acting though. But please, can you take a break from acting? Maybe like 60 years break. You will take a break from life. Yeah, you can take a break from life. Because taking a break from acting for me is like you killing me. There is nothing, I, I can't do any other thing. It's just 60 years now. 60 years, and that means you are gone. Otilo, you want to be using Otilo slang for me. Be you, Omalo. Take a break from life. Instead of you looking for me to take a break for 60 years, you take a break. And I don't want you to take a break, eh? I promised your daddy, I shall do a shame. Last year, you, I, think, I think you got the house. Tell me you came now. You came to my house uh, this thing now. Around this year, you bought a clean Lexus Jeep. What's your advice for upcoming actresses that want to get rich by making low standard YouTube movies like you? I don't do low standards, okay? So, but for upcoming actors that want to keep doing YouTube, don't let anybody bring you down, okay? There are lots of good movies on YouTube. There are lots of beautiful movies, high-earned movies on YouTube. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Keep doing it, get your stories right, and the sky will be your starting point. And for Womitoriola, I'm not stopping anytime soon. Kindly subscribe to Womitoriola TV. Yes, to watch all my movies on YouTube and Queen Latifah coming to the cinemas. What is there? What is what is the big deal in you capturing YouTube and capturing cinema? I don't know why you people form what is not. Don't let me talk. Go avec they play. Okay, let's not talk about her being single again. This one is about you being single. My <laughs> lonely, lonely person has dropped a comment. This one is about you being single. Oh. This one is about you being single. This one too is about you being single. <laughs>
Okay. I've got a question. What should you be expecting from Queen Latifah? So guys, I'm so intentional about Queen Latifah. Don't bother, don't bother. Be expecting everything. Don't bother, don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Expect comedy, expect movie, expect love, expect everything. See, uh, it's not anything you've seen before. Trust me, you will love it. You will not be disappointed. Queen Latifah is coming to the cinemas from September 27th. Nationwide. I mean, in all cinemas, nationwide. Please come out, okay? Tell somebody about Queen Latifah. You will love it. It's a movie you've not seen anything close to it. Trust me, it's my cinema debut. And trust me, <laughs> I put a lot to put this production together. Distributed by Cinemax. Maybe this is the only thing you have flat from, really. Can you hear that? Thing? That's the sound of nobody cares about everything you have said. You can leave my set, please. Ah, uh, we, you, we, ah. Uh, she already bought she me wabi. Let's leave here now. You know, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Hey, mommy. Because if you bought she me wabi, me leave. Can I get a glass? Can I get a glass? Can I get a glass? Don't you have a movie to go and promote? It's none of your business. I'm not going. I'll stay. If the, if this is how Fuka Kedele is sitting down everywhere, do you think a movie will sell out like that? I'm not going to sell out like that. I'm not going to sell out I swear. I swear. You will not tell me to leave, no. You brought me here. You will sh you, the way you brought me here with so much joy is the way you will take me back. Say thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for bringing food on your table because without Umi Toriola, how many views have gone past what I've brought? You fake borrow. Fake borrow. If I don't come on this show, you won't eat by next month, 26. Hmm? To respect people's also, okay? All right, I respect you also. All right, so what would and you I say to me? I look forward to watching your cinema movie. Thank you Your so much. Your first cinema movie to Latifah. Thank you so much, Bayou. For everything I've said, I didn't mean it. You know, I realize that you like talking people down on your show and um, trying to see what you have achieved for yourself. But don't worry. It doesn't matter even if you cannot describe what you do. Are you a skit maker? Are you an interviewer? Are you a podcast person? You are in between. Whatever it is, keep the hustle up, okay? The sky is your beginning. Thank you so much for bringing me on this show. Once again, my name is Wumi Turiola, a.k.a. Queen Latifah. Love and light. Um, I thank you for watching this episode with the popular C-list actress. Um, I'm moving Queen Latifah will be coming out in cinemas. Please watch it and maybe someday she'll become a B-list actress.